Imagine a life where your every wish materializes effortlessly, where the universe conspires in your favor and your thoughts sculpt your reality. Today, I'm thrilled to embark on an illuminating journey through Neville Goddard's profound technique, the ultimate law of attraction meditation for manifesting your desires in a simple and easy to follow way. When many people start with manifestation, they have difficulty deciding what exactly it is that they want to manifest and how it can best be achieved. This technique isn't just about wishful thinking. It's a revolutionary approach that reshapes your perception, reprograms your subconscious, and magnetizes your desires toward you. It's not me who is saying this. Many living examples have used this technique and manifested their desires. I have witnessed the magic of this technique from very close. One of my friends was in debt and verge of losing everything and becoming homeless. She had nothing to lose at this point and was given this magical three-word technique by Neville Goddard. And with full faith in this technique, she believed that her life would turn upside down. She will get a very well-paying job and pay all of her debts within three months. She had nothing left to lose, so she embraced this method with all her might. With pure belief and trust, she envisioned a complete turnaround in her life within three months. A good paying job and wiping out every debt became her new reality. And guess what? You witnessed the unbelievable her life did a 180 in just three months. Debt? Come. Dream job. Right there. It was a shocker. And trust me, when I saw this drastic change in her within just three months, I was shocked. And that is how I also came to know about this three-word manifestation technique. You may get skeptical and ask, there are lots of techniques, then why this? Well, first and foremost, this technique is just amazing and it requires little effort and works like a charm every time. Imagine wielding three simple words that have the power to reshape your world. Intriguing, right? So, what are those three magical words then? Manifestation, however, is not always easy because the rational mind often gets in the way and says no. Virtually all manifestation methods have two objectives, getting clear on what you want and conditioning the mind. When you're crystal clear about what you want, it paints a vivid picture in both your conscious and subconscious mind. You, through conditioning, guide your logical mind to embrace your truth that sensation of already having what you desire. It's about training your mind to align with your deepest aspirations. By silently repeating affirmations such as isn't it wonderful that you essentially train the mind to focus on what you want. To start using the isn't it wonderful technique, it's a straightforward process, let's break it down. Picture this, you'll be repeating isn't it wonderful in your mind akin to a soothing meditation or a powerful mantra. But here's the catch. It's not just about the words. You've got to feel it pulsating within you, making it tangible and alive. Imagine thinking, isn't it so wonderful? How does that sensation feel to you? It's crucial to grab onto that feeling, to claim it as yours, to make it your truth. This isn't merely a thought. It's about embodying that sensation letting it seep into your reality. So, as you embark on this journey, it's about more than mere repetition. It's about immersing yourself in the feeling, embracing it until it becomes a part of your very existence. That's the magic of this technique, turning words into a reality you can touch and feel. It's important to start by picking one thing you want. Focus on this one desire, it helps you concentrate better and get used to visualizing. Grab a journal just for your manifesting stuff. Write down that desire in it. Isn't it wonderful that everything seems to be falling into place? It's like the universe is lining up just for me. Things are clicking and it feels amazing. Good vibes are all around and I sense something fantastic is right on the horizon. Can you feel it? It's like I'm on the brink of bringing my dreams to life. Write it down in the journal and make it like a special home for your dreams and thoughts. At the start, it's better to stick to one thing you want to make happen. This way, 
you can get good at it before trying lots of things together. It's like learning step by step. When you only focus on one wish, it's easier to picture it. This practice helps you get the hang of using the law of assumption. Later on, when you're feeling more confident, you might want to try manifesting a few things at once. But for now, taking it slow helps you build a solid manifesting routine. So by setting your sights on one thing and jotting it down in your special journal, you're laying the groundwork for a powerful way to turn your wishes into real things. Starting slow and steady paves the way for a strong manifesting journey ahead. Now it's time to visualize your desires and find a quiet spot where you can relax your mind and body. Creating this serene environment helps you focus. The best moments to rewire your subconscious are when you're in that drowsy, almost asleep phase before bedtime Neville Goddard called this the state akin to sleep, say T.S. Other great times are right after waking up and after meditation sessions. Especially when you start working on a new desire, keep your manifestation journal handy. It's your space to jot down what you see, feel, and say during these visualizations. This way, you've got a record in case you forget something important. Repeat your visualizations every night until you sense that your desire is within reach. You can silently think these thoughts or say them out loud. With practice, you'll learn to slip into that fulfilled state effortlessly, almost like second nature. As time goes on, these visuals will sink deep into your mind, becoming a part of you. Eventually, they'll feel like memories, your natural way of being. That's the ultimate goal. Your final step, embrace the power of assumption. Neville Goddard's law of assumption guides you into living from the fulfilled state of your desire. It's about thinking and feeling like your wish has already come true. You're no longer waiting for your desire because, in your mind and heart, it's already a part of your reality. It becomes as natural as breathing. When you're in this state, calmness, peace and gratitude often accompany you. At first, it might feel strange, almost unreal. But as Neville wisely notes, persistence is key. Keep at it, and your assumptions will solidify into facts. Believe it or not, as you persist in this mental state, the world outside will start reshaping itself to match your assumptions. It's like creating a new reality by simply assuming it's already here. You might be wondering, does the isn't it wonderful technique work? And the only answer to this question is yes, yes and yes. As mentioned earlier, this technique is perfect for beginners, but also powerful for experienced manifestors. When we manifest things, our usual focus lands on the actual thing we want. But that's not the key to making it work, at least not effectively. Instead, it's about summoning the feeling of already having that thing in your life. Think about it. How would it feel? How would your thoughts change? Who would you become? Instead of fixating solely on the thing you desire, concentrate on how your life would reflect the fulfillment of that wish. It's about observing the external signs that indicate your wish has already come true, rather than obsessing over the wish itself. You would never think isn't it wonderful if anything negative was happening to your life. Isn't it wonderful encompasses all positive things. By manifesting this state of mind, where you feel the wonder of your desires fulfilled, you indirectly manifest everything you're seeking. Remember the thought isn't it wonderful naturally arises from a beautiful, fulfilled state of mind. So, why not embark on this journey of manifestation by focusing on that feeling of wonder? Start by visualizing your fulfilled desires and embracing that sense of fulfillment. Hit subscribe and join us on this journey of manifesting wonders. Don't forget to like and share this video to spread the magic of manifestation to others seeking to fulfill their desires. Together, Let's unlock the power of Isn't It Wonderful in our lives.